Hi, hello, I am the Cyber Reef Guru. Thank you for watching. So today we have another unboxing video. So a while ago I found this Triton spindle sander on sale. Now this is something that has been on my wish list for many years. Every time I make a curved cut of any sort or any time I want to shape something, the existing belt sander and disc sander that I have just don't get it done. So I've been eyeing up this particular sander for a while and when it went on sale, I was like, you know what, it's time to finally pull the trigger and that's what I did. So we are going to unbox it. We're going to give it a twirl or two and then we'll report back on, you know, my thoughts. All right, so let's go ahead and get on with the unboxing. All right, so we have the Triton 3.5 amp oscillating spindle and belt sander. It's got all these different spindle attachments and the belt sander itself. So the only thing that is missing is the disc sander, which I don't use very often. And when I do use it, I usually use it for shaping, which I can use this oscillating belt sander for. So that's super cool. We're going to get this unboxed and then we're going to probably replace the existing belt sander with this guy on the flip top uh, stand and then go from there. All right. If you're new to the channel and you like this sort of content, please consider subscribing and ringing that bell. Very important these days. Your subscription means a lot to me, and I really strive to make content that my viewers enjoy. Now let's get back to the video. All right, my initial reaction. It was packaged fairly well. I gotta tell you, this little guy, which is floating in the box, I'm wondering if it was supposed to be attached here instead of in the box. These little cubbies here for where the spindles go um, are full of dirt, debris. You know, it was wrapped in a plastic bag, so I don't know why it would be dirty coming out of the factory bag. And then this guy here <laughs> clearly is not supposed to be up like that. It's supposed to be down like that. And there are little plastic parts all over it and there's oil on the plastic parts which is really weird so that's well disappointing the aluminum bed here all right i thought this was plastic i guess it's aluminum so that's good aluminum bed is a little scuffed up right here the paint's missing that's also disappointing it's got some schmutz on it some oil residue or whatever but uh and like i said the uh styrofoam bits all over it. Other than that, it looks okay. There's no obvious damage. It does have oil residue on it. Um, so this is handy. It's got a nice little... It's got positive locks at uh, 15, 25, 22 and a half. 30 and 45, so well, that last one was kind of hard to get in. Uh, so that's good. Remains to be seen how accurate they are. <laughs> All right, so this, ow, ooh, holy crap. Well, that's dangerous, and I just cut myself. So you got to put your finger right here, pull this down, and then pull this back up. When I pulled it up, this part right here literally just sliced my thumb wide open, filleted me, um, and it's not even locked yet. It's not locked in the zero position. Or is it? I guess maybe it is. It's not in that little indent all the way. Wow, that is unfortunate. All right, friends, we're going to go clean this up. We'll be right back. It's with the Band-Aid. It's awesome. All right, I'm back, all stitched up. We're good to go. Uh, power switch here with uh, should be the little removable plug. Yeah, safety feature, good stuff there. Okay, this does have a little adjustment. Looks like it's got some screws where you can adjust it, so hopefully that can make it a little bit easier to lock in at the zero level. 
Okay, flipping through the manual, no actual installation instructions. There's some safety things. It talks about the different parts, and then it just jumps straight into how to use it. All right, let's get the parts out of the styrofoam here, see if we can make sense of this. Look, it's a, it's a, it's a sander. It shouldn't be that hard to figure out. Now we're averaging about 50 dB without me talking, about uh, 68, 67 with me talking. Uh, it's peaking up into the 70 some odd range. That's all good. All right, according to the app, it's a quiet whisper. <laughs> all right, let's see if this works. All right, so we're at anywhere between 86 and 90, uh, really around 88 average with the machine on, with the phone right about here, which is right about where a human would sit. Let me grab some scrap wood. We're gonna try it again and see if that makes a difference. All right, not too bad. Let's uh, swap out the, ooh, interesting. So when I pushed really hard, this started riding up on the rubber thing. All right, that's interesting. So the harder you push against this, this thing has a tendency to move. I'll have to read the instructions in more detail to see if there's something you tighten to stop that from happening or uh, don't push as hard or whatever. Let's get the belt sander put in. Okay, well, that worked pretty well. Um, this belt, 
so it's sticking out on the top here and it's overshooting here. I don't know if that's the way it's supposed to be or not, but it is. So that's interesting and weird. And not a big fan of these washers just kind of laying around. All right, friends, this was the unboxing setup and initial use of the Triton oscillating spindle and belt sander. Went pretty smooth. Instructions weren't terribly awesome. Belts were moving a little bit on the spindle whenever I was using it. Don't know if that was operator error or not. Uh, we'll have to read the manual more in detail to figure that out. It's got good power, sands well. Obviously did not have the dust collection on. I'm not sure how much of a difference having dust collection on is gonna matter. Um, it is a sander after all, but you can see there was a tremendous amount of dust kicked up while we were using it. Uh, storage is pretty good. I like it overall. I will tell you these things are loose. Um, if it does get moved around, this stuff's going to get lost. This is clearly not meant to go anywhere, mounted on a bench and call it a day. When the belt sander was in and it was going up and down, it was actually moving on its own, just sitting on this top, so it does have to be bolted down, but that's okay. All right, thank you so much for getting this far and for watching the video. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, appreciate a thumbs up. Anyway, but leave your comments down below and tell us why, and we'll make future videos better. All right, if you're not already following me on Instagram, please do so. That's where I post pictures of projects like this so you can get a sneak peek of what we're working on. Don't forget to subscribe, ring that bell, very important these days, and don't forget to be inspired. For that, I owe myself a cocktail. <laughs>